today I'm really excited to uh, introduce you guys, Corey Gulick. I don't know if I pronounced your last name correctly, Corey, but today we're talking about Facebook group explosion. And why I'm bringing Corey on here is because a lot of you guys I know um, want to grow your Facebook groups or are growing your Facebook group and just wants a little more tips and tricks on how to do it. And Corey specializes in Facebook group explosion. So that's what we're gonna do today. And if you have any questions, this is this whole training is meant to be super value based. Um, you know, like really no pitch. Um, and <laughs> we're gonna tell you guys where to find Corey afterwards. But welcome to my group, Corey. Thanks so much for showing up today. And guys, if you're here live, hashtag live. And if you're here for the replay, hashtag replay. And type 99 in the comments. Let me know that you're here and smash the heart button. But um, can you tell us a little bit about your background story, a little bit of your origin story, Corey, right before we jump into the uh, training? The, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. The what part? Oh, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, yeah, so uh, my name's Corey Gulick. Um, I'm, I'm a coach. Like Technically, I go by Coach Corey in my groups just because I coach people on all different kinds of things. I got several different groups that I've grown. Um, I actually coach lacrosse, which uh, inside your picture that you put inside the group, that's me uh, with the, I'm actually holding a championship trophy, which is pretty sweet. But I just love coaching. I love helping people. I like them, uh, helping people just grow personally, uh, personal development wise, but also their businesses and stuff. And I know that Facebook groups are an area that maybe a lot of people aren't really, you know, that knowledgeable on. But I also know that Facebook is like heavily promoting groups and then also live videos. So those are two things that I really like to focus on, uh, especially inside of my group. Awesome. And, um, whoa, let me change this back to speaker view. <laughs> so um, what made you decide to get into uh, Facebook group, group explosion? What is it that you found out that um, works? And I guess that parlays into um, the training, how to explode your Facebook group to 1,000 plus members within 90 days or less. Yeah. So it's kind of funny, like funny story. Um, I started just kind of dabbling in Facebook groups. Like I said, I started one with a, with a little cross Facebook group. Um, and so I've had several different ones. One's kind of a personal development. One's kind of a um, affiliate marketing almost. And then I just literally started the, um, the newest group. But basically, you know, in the first two groups, I grew my I group to, uh, you know, a thousand plus members in 90 days or less, kind of like you're saying. Um, and then after I did it with my third group, I started getting people like, like asking me, how did you do it? How'd you do it? And I didn't think it was really a big deal, you know, cause I was just doing what I'm, what I'll be teaching you guys here in a minute. Um, just doing these simple little things and growing my groups, uh, to a thousand plus members all under 90 days. The last one that I did actually hit it in like 80 days. So, um, when I started getting a lot of questions, you know, I figured I might as well just start a group that teaches how to grow groups because it just seemed natural. Awesome. But, <laughs> yeah. So, so that's how I got started. Uh, awesome. It seems like for some people, they struggle quite a bit. What, why is it easy for you? That I really have no idea. <laughs> I, I mean, it just kind of, it, it just kind of came naturally. I think the biggest thing, because I'm a coach and I like to interact with people, um, establishing those relationships is definitely one of the first things that I'll recommend to anybody that wants to grow a group. Um, inside of all my groups, I always have a team mindset. And that's like the number one thing I think to really grow a successful group. Um, you know, don't say that it's, it's my group, you know, it's our group, right? Like when you're inside of your group, um, and then just make sure that people know that they're a part of a team. Like we're all going to work together. Um, if you, if you're in any of my other groups, if you're watching, you know, like my, my tagline, when I first start, like any Facebook live video is, you know, I'm coach Corey and together we'll do it better. Right. So I'm kind of implanting that thought in their head before I ever get going with anything that, you know, we're going to work together to do this. And what you'll find out is that you're going to get a lot of people that are in your group that will really be engaging and they're really going to help grow your group for you, which is like really the power of, of getting it done in 90 days or less. All right. Okay, cool. Let's dive into uh, the training and what works for you. Um, if you want to share your screen, we can do that as well. Um, just uh, what are yeah the techniques that you use to grow your group? All right. So yeah, first, like I said, the mindset thing, you know, get, get them to be on a team, uh, team mindset. That's going to be the first thing that you want to do. And then, um, the second thing, like if you already have a group, the, the biggest thing with online marketing or anything like that 
is you got to become the expert, right? So the first thing I suggest for anybody, make sure, you know, when you're starting your group, you have your niche picked out because you need to know that first and foremost. Um, try to narrow it down as much as possible. So a lot of people like to do affiliate marketing, but you really want to try to narrow that down to you know, like, say, um, you know, chatbot affiliate marketing or something like that. Because the more narrow your, your group can be, the more people you're going to actually get in for that niche. And uh, in marketing is just kind of a, a real broad base. So it's going to be kind of hard uh, to get the people that you want into your uh, group, right? Um, because there's a ton of affiliate marketing groups out there. We all know that. And to really position yourself as an expert there, you're going to have to do a lot more work. But if it was like, you know, Facebook ads or YouTube ads or, you know, chat bots or whatever it is, narrow it down as much as possible. And then what you're going to want to do is go out and just search for other groups that are going to be similar to what your group is, right? And join them. Join five to 10 groups. Get in there and just start uh, adding value. Any kind of tips and tricks that you can give away that are um, not necessarily your top secret tips, obviously. But just little things, um, and you'll start getting engagement on those comments. And then make sure, like, when people engage, you start friending them, right? And then they'll start seeing your posts. So that's what I do first is I just go out, I find the group that's in the niche that I'm looking for. I start answering questions in there. If I, if I don't know the answer, just go and find it real quick and come back and answer it. Um, and then basically just, you know, establish that friendship. And then once people start liking your comments, you can go, you know, message them and say, hey, I saw that you liked this comment in this group well I got a group that I teach this in so if you want more you know info or whatever come and join my group and that's really one of the easiest ways to get people to just start coming in and building yourself up as the expert in that area um, once you establish that like I said answering questions um, and kind of friending the people that are that are liking your comments and all that kind of stuff then you start putting them into your group and then obviously once you're inside your group you just got to start giving them more value base inside the group and then after that, let's see. Um, I'm trying to look at my notes real quick just to make sure I'm, I'm getting stuff. Hey, Alan. Hey, Elise. Hey, Martin. Hey, Thomas. Hey, Prakash. Hey, Mara Lee. Oh, hey, Marcus. <laughs> um, hey, Rob. Hey, guys. So uh, if you guys are just joining and jumping in, hashtag live to let me know that you're here live. And um, if you have any questions about, oh, how do I even get started? Like, where do I go? What, like any questions about Facebook group growth, let me know in the comments because I want this uh, to be super interactive, very training, um, very like value-based interview. Uh, so if you have any kind of questions, don't hesitate to ask us. All right. Um, uh, I know that Corey, he specializes in group explosion. And I have grown this group over 2,300 people now, very organically. Um, but yeah, so I brought him in because uh, I have software that lets, helps you grow your group. And why not bring Corey in who specializes in group growth? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And your tool is awesome. Like, you know, group convert, uh, I don't know how, you know, somebody gave it to me like, I used to, like, when I was growing those first few groups, like, I was manually entering emails into, like, you know, a sheet, just like Group Convert works, except I was doing it all manually. Super pain in the butt. And now, like, your your extension or whatever just works perfect. It's so, so much easier. So definitely a, a blessing, and I thank you for creating it because it definitely helps out when you're growing a group, especially when you're trying to go for, like, zero to a 1,000 members in 90 days or less. Like that's a lot of emails. Now, granted, we all know everybody doesn't answer all the questions or give you their email, but even if just half of them did, which I usually get, you know, probably 70% email rate, I guess. Um, that's still a whole 70 lot. 70% email. email rate. That's a lot. So yeah. what are the three questions you ask in order to get that kind of email rate response? Yeah. So again, it kind of depends on the group, uh, you know, but like in, in the one that I'm doing now about Facebook group, it's, you know, what's your group about and, um, kind of what do you plan on doing with your group would be the number two. And then three, I, I literally like, this is probably the worst you could possibly do because I don't have any kind of giveaways or anything like that. I just say, give me your email so I can send you updates in case, you know, I'm not on Facebook and that's about it. So it's really not like a, you know, giveaway. Like a lot of people do giveaways and stuff like that. I don't do it. I probably will at some point, but um, I just started this group, like I said, two weeks ago and it's got, I think it's got 230 some members in it already. So I'm on course. Um, 
which I can go over the numbers real quick. If you guys want to know to get to a thousand members in 90 days or less, you need 11.1 new members every day on average. Um, so yeah, you gotta, you know, you gotta kind of rock and roll, but that's one other thing. If, if I can real quick, um, one thing that I like to do is always like welcome your new members, but I don't just do the, the basic, you know, let's welcome our new members post. Like if you guys don't have a group or you don't know what I'm talking about, over where it so shows the members inside your group, just below it, it'll say you have so many new members. And then next to that, there's a little button that'll say, uh, you know, write post to welcome new members or something like that. So you just click on that button and then it's gonna automatically tag everybody that's new in your group inside of that post. And then you can kind of just write anything. And that's where I, I try to get engagement right away. Um, so like I, I'll ask a question in there, you know, like, you know, let's welcome our new members, new members, tell us one thing about you that we don't know, something like that, just to get kind of that, that, um, that going, that engagement going, because growing groups, it's really gonna be all about engagement because Facebook is looking at your group. They need to know what it's about. And then they, they wanna see if there's a lot of people being active and engaging in it. Um, and then that's gonna help promote your group for you without having to pay for it. You know, like on the side, it'll say suggested groups, like that's where you wanna show up. Um, so there's a lot that goes into it, but definitely getting new members in, getting them active. And the cool thing is when you, uh, when you welcome a new member, every single member is gonna see it because they're tagged in it, right, the new members. And who doesn't wanna, you know, click like or whatever because they got mentioned, right? Because at the end of the day, we're all selfish, whether we wanna think so or not. Um, so if somebody mentions you, you're gonna do at least the, the like or the heart or whatever, so. Um, all right. And so then, let's summarize. Let's summarize for those of you who are just hopping in. Hey, Exponential Tribe. <laughs> I don't know your. Uh, maybe from your picture, I can figure out your name. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Rob. Thanks for joining us, guys. Hey, Michael. Um, guys, if you're just hopping in right now, hashtag live so I know you're here. Smash the heart button. Um, Corey is giving us the uh, fundamentals on how to grow your Facebook group. Um, I, I do want to kind of like challenge you a little bit more, Corey, because I know some people haven't even started and then some people have started and they grew their group or something already. But is there any like special tricks um, that you see out there that's working or something um, like specific? Um, because what you're telling me um, is in, go into other groups, create engagement, um, answer questions, um, add one person a day to your group. And uh, so if you add one person a day, that's like only 90 people, right? Like in 90 yeah. So tell yeah. me what it is that really explodes the group. Um, okay. Just to tell um, you a little bit. Yeah, so depending, yeah, not a problem. So depending on, on how many members you have in your group, like I said, I'm welcoming members as, as it first gets going. Um, I'm also celebrating small milestones. So like if you're starting from zero, as soon as you get to 10 members, hey guys, way to go, great job. We, we reached 10 members today. Like it might sound silly or stupid, but people are gonna get that team mentality, right? And then once you get up to maybe like 50 members in your group, 50 to 100, I usually do some kind of uh, contest or giveaway, right? So if you have something to give away or you can just come up with a contest and it's just a simple, uh, whoever invites the most members into this group is going to get X, Y, Z, whatever it is, right? So that's going to be like the first stage of that first kind of explosion. And uh, if you went through my group, like you'd see how I kind of started in a slow growth. Just like I said, I got to about 50 members or so, uh, and then basically just do that plug, right? So when you already have all this value kind of given to these people, usually they're more than happy to kind of go out there and promote your group anyway. Uh, but you throw in a little bonus, like I did one where you can get a half hour coaching call with me or $50 cash, you know, or PayPal, however you wanted it. Um, and it was just whoever invited the most members. From doing just that one post, guys, I ended up getting like 35 new members put in my group and I didn't go out and get anybody, right? They all gave it uh, to me. Granted, uh, I had to do a, a half hour coaching call, but, you know, was it worth it? Yeah, I got, you know, like I said, like 35 new members for a half hour of my time. The person that won, is like a huge supporter of me now. Like I know that. Uh, and that's the other cool thing about doing a contest or giveaway is that you're going to see which members are going out there and like they're, they're active members, you know, like, like inside your group right here, it says take massive action, right? So you want to find out who in your group are action takers because those are the people that you're going to be able to work with in the future as well. 
So doing a contest or a um, giveaway, something like that, is definitely one of the ways that you can get huge, huge growth really quick because now you're getting that team to go out there and promote your group for you. All right. And Rob says, turn my volume down. So hopefully this works, you guys. I just got a new set. So that's why there's echo and stuff because I got to fix it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, contests work really well. And guys, if you are here live right now tuning in, let me know what is that free giveaway that you created for your people, if you've created one yet. And let me know if you're struggling to make any free giveaway at all. Uh, hashtag struggle if you're struggling. And um, type in your niche so that Corey can actually answer and help you think of a giveaway that you can easily make for your audience, your particular people. Because I think a lot of times people freeze on, you know, figuring out what is that giveaway, what is that thing that they can ask for in exchange for an email. And um, it's really, it's just, it's more of a, like a mental block than it is something physical because you can literally have like a one page PDF with five points, right, Corey? Right, absolutely, absolutely. Especially uh, like on the getting people into your group, that kind of free giveaway for their email, that can be super simple, one page, just you know, a couple tips of whatever the group's gonna be about, um, that works great. As far as like a, uh, a giveaway to get people to invite members into your group, obviously you wanna give something of value away, and it can be like, I've done like stupid stuff before, right? Like I'll just look around my office and be like, okay, this is like a, a thing that you, plug into your phone that you can hook an HDMI cable into, right? And I'll say, I'm gonna give this away. You get this off of Amazon for like five bucks or whatever it is, and people still want it, you know? They wanna partake in it for whatever reason. Um, so it's really cool, you know? And then like I said, like, it doesn't have to be anything big. Um, if you can pay to do it, obviously, if I would've paid the $50 for that first contest, it would've cost me over a dollar a lead uh, kind of thing as far as that goes. Um, but you're also getting, it's the word of mouth that you're getting. So you're, you're getting more people that are like-minded because these, the members that are inviting them are already members of these other groups that are going to have like-minded people in them. That makes sense. Yes, that does make sense. Um, so, yeah. and and then, if, oh, one more thing real quick. Like, I don't know if you, if you do PLR products or anything like that, but um, that, that's the easiest way to get some kind of free ebook to give away or whatever. Just make sure you have giveaway rights for it. And you know that way you don't even have to create anything. And they got products for everything out there. So yeah, and PLR for those of you listening means private label rights, um, and that means that you have the ability to sell uh, these eBooks or videos or whatever it is um, on PLR websites. And you don't even need to create your own content. You can just go out, buy someone's content, and then provide that as a giveaway. What PLR websites do you recommend, uh, Corey? Um, I use, want to know? Yeah, I, uh, I use ID PLR, which if you don't already, go out there and become an affiliate because they have affiliate programs. How do you spell that? IDPLR. IDPLR.com? Yeah, I believe it's just dot .com. Um, okay. I'm trying to think. Like all my, you know, all my links, obviously. Oh, no, it's are, true. That, that is correct. So IDPLR.com is yep, I, the site that you could uh, use to buy freebies you can give away for pretty, is it like low end really cheap and it, it ranges or like what's a typical cost of buying some PLR on that site? I think, I think with that one you can get like a lifetime subscription for like $97 or $100, something like that around there. And it's like thousands of these products. It's, you know, eBooks and uh, video courses, like you said all kinds of like software there's some softwares and stuff in that you can get um but it's super cheap like if you ask me it's really cheap wow. I, was trying to think, I was trying to think of the other one that that i use um, plr.net plr.net no i don't do that one uh and, I, and again i always look for something that has an affiliate link just because i you know if you're gonna use something and you like it you might as well grab the affiliate link and share it with your group or whoever Ah, um, yeah, I didn't know P ID PLR. I didn't even know PLR sites have affiliate links. <laughs> some of them do, yeah. 
Yeah, number one rule, guys, when it comes to affiliate marketing, anytime you go to any website, scroll to the very bottom and look for the affiliate, you know, like join the affiliate program or whatever. Because if it doesn't have one, chances are like I don't, uh, I don't even join if it doesn't have one. Um, the other one is Best Deal PLR. Oh, Best Deal PLR. Okay, Best Deal PLR. And that has an affiliate link too? Yeah, it sure does. Uh, so, yeah, um, like I said, I mean, if I'm going to promote it, you know, and I use it too. I don't just promote it. Like, it's got a lot of good, uh, a lot of good content and stuff in there. Um, a lot of good free giveaways. You just got to make sure that when you're using PLR products, guys, that you look and see what your actual rights are. Because a lot of times you can sell them, um, you can put them in a membership website, but you can't just give them away. But there are some that you can just give away. And one of them, one of those two sites that I just gave you, I know has it to where you can filter it to where it just pulls up the giveaway ones. So that one's super cool. Um, but just remember, like the giveaway ones aren't going to be the highest quality, but it's good for lead gen, you know, doing a, a quick lead gen page or whatever. Um, so, and hopefully you guys know what, you know, lead gen is. You're just trying to get an email for a, a free product or whatever. Yeah. And hey, Sandra. Hey, Ray. Thanks for joining us. Um, Exponential Tribe says CBD oils. Uh, educational Facebook group. So if her group is all about CBD oils, what would you recommend for her to grow her Facebook group? Yeah. Um, again, first go out there and find other groups that are already working. Um, I just actually looked at one. One of the things I do inside my group is I'll go through and kind of go through your group and give you suggestions on what I would do or what I would change. So somebody sent me his and, and it was a CBD oil. Um, but definitely join other groups that are like that. And just share your knowledge in there. You know, don't try to be spammy, obviously. Just share what you know about CBD and how it works. Because I don't know anything about CBD oil, right? Um, but definitely share that. Get your name out there. Uh, try to keep your profile picture constant. That's, I know one thing that a lot of people do is they change it a lot. But you got to remember that profile picture is your brand, right? Like people see your comments and they're going to recognize your, your face or whatever it is that's in your profile picture. And they'll get to know you. Right. So the longer you can keep it in one kind of format, you know, picture or whatever, the better. Um, but then, yeah, go in and do a description inside your group. Make a nice long description just talking about everything that you know about um, the oil, that it, whatever it is. Um, that way, Facebook knows that this group is about this. Make sure that it's inside of your title of the group. So it should be CBD oil, you know, whatever, or, you know, something that has that in there because you want you want to put as many keywords as you can inside of the title of your group and then as well as your description. That way Facebook mm -hmm. knows what your group is about. And hey guys, I'm going to give you guys one tip that I've used that really helps with converting um, the people funneling into my Facebook group into buyers. So one thing that I do is I ask a question for a group convert. I cr instead of having that group just be about one software or just to be be about your product it's a community so you center it around learning and then one of the three questions you ask is hey have you ever tried group convert if not try it here and it would be a little tiny bitly short link that has actually increased my conversions of people flowing into my group so if you have cbd oil or something like that then one of the three questions could be hey have you tried this essential oil here's 5% coupon on this link, click here. And so when they're coming in, it's like they're asking, they're answering these questions anyways, and they're gonna read that anyway. And some of them might be curious and want that 5% coupon or 10% off that oil that you're selling. Um, and then, you know, the bottom could still be, what's your email so I can give you the top five CBD, um, most popular CBD oils, most useful CBD oils. And it could be a PDF with like five, a list of five CBD oils and then a reference link back to a $5 coupon code for your oil back to your store. So it's like you want to provide like value, 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 and then coupon code. Or like as they're entering in to get value, coupon code. Or they see something that's like, try it. Um, so that has worked for me in terms of converting people funneling into my group into buyers. Um, let me know if that's valuable. And guys, if you are gaining any kind of value from this interview, hashtag value in the comments and smash the heart button. 
Um, I really, I, I noticed that um, my bot and a lot of the interviews that I do, sometimes there are pitches. So I want to throw in a few um, interviews where it's just about value, just about training for you guys. So you guys know, okay, this is what works for Corey. This is what works for Kim. And I can use these tips and tricks to apply it to my own because Facebook is changing the way that their mobile app works so that it is group centric. So you're going to see kind of like an explosion of Facebook groups. And instead of trying to navigate that growth on your own, you have people like Corey to help you and you have other people that are, uh, they, they're starting to make a lot of Facebook group growth courses out there. <laughs> but um, let me know, you guys. Um, yay, Kevin says value. Yeah, no problem. Hey, Yogesh. Um, so, Corey, uh, so, all right, let's summarize. Um, when you create your group, you have to go into other similar groups and engage, answer questions, and then message them individually and say, hey, um, here are some tips and tricks, but if you want to know more, I actually have a Facebook group around that topic. Here's the link. And then they actually go and enter into yours. Um, you have a 70% email um, people giving you their email when they enter in, and all you do is you ask for their email. You say, hey, give me your email in case I'm not on Facebook and I can't or I, I can reach you outside of Facebook right. um, and they do give you the email even if you have no value, high value freebie but if you have a high value freebie you don't have to create it yourself you can go on PLR sites which are private label rights sites like PLR best deal PLR .com or um, idplr.com and it's really really affordable you can pay $97 for a lifetime for all these ebooks and these things surrounding all types of topics so that you don't have to be afraid now of uh, doing giveaways. And so, and giveaways are the things that really grow your group because people, even if it's like a USB charger or something small, the chance that they might win it means that they will engage and try to be part and engage in your group. Um, so let me know if I left anything out. <laughs> I probably did, but no, you, you did a summary. You, yeah, you did a great job summary. I can't believe uh, you remembered all that. Um, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And like you were saying with the you know the CBD oil, as far as you know the list, you could also do like top five uh, things to use CBD oil on. Because like I said, I don't know anything about CBD oil, but if there's like five purposes for it, like the top five purposes, if it's I don't know, makes your hair shiny or whatever. I don't know. That could be like your little report that you give away for free for people that join your group, you know? Um, yeah, but definitely uh, you, you, you nailed it. That's exactly what I would do. If you're, if you're just starting out, like I said, it's all about positioning yourself as the expert. Um, the ID PLR or deal or the PL, best deal PLR, that kind of stuff is great for those freebie giveaways. Uh, I'm going to encourage anybody watching this right now to actually create their own course. Like, like you mentioned, there's a lot of kind of Facebook group growth courses that are coming out. Mine should be launching probably in the next couple of weeks. I'm really, I'm, I've been trying to uh, get it out there. A lot that goes into it, but that's going to put yourself at that next level of expertise. So when you have a group and then you have your own course, you know, it's just going to really set yourself apart from, from other people that are just trying to get the uh, PLR products or whatever out there. So, and uh, that's going to be the best way to monetize your group, you know, um, and monetizing groups, if I can touch on that real quick, uh, we already kind of mentioned getting the group convert tool because that's going to capture the emails for you. And then, it, you know, inside the training, it shows you how to hook it up to your email autoresponder and all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, you know, you don't have to send out a ton of emails to the people that are in your group. You know, like you do like just the first one is just a welcome to the group. And, you know, I hope you like whatever. Make sure you introduce yourself. Um, going back, to, I, I talked in the beginning real briefly that, you know, Facebook is really focusing on groups and Facebook lives, right? That's the other thing that I do. Unlike a lot of groups that are like, they put all these rules and you can't do anything, no kind of promotions or anything like that. Like I encourage people to come on and actually do um, promotions in my group, but it's in a very strict rule guideline. So like in my affiliate marketing group, every Wednesday, like today, you can go in there and you can promote any product that you want. I don't care what it is, but you have to use hashtag live promo and it has to be a live video. 
And what it's going to do is, again, it's going to show you your action takers. And uh, you actually you build some really cool relationships because one is the people that are already out there knocking it out of the park as far as affiliate marketing and stuff go. Um, but also they want to reciprocate, right? Like it's the law of reciprocation. So if I let them do a live in my group promoting their product, uh, they're going to let me do it in theirs or, you know, vice versa. And um, it's just a great way to get those kind of connections. And you're going to know, like I said, the rock stars because they're the ones that are willing to get on and do a Facebook live. Um, which if you're not doing Facebook lives guys in your group already, you absolutely have to start doing that. Like Facebook lives are what makes it personal, right? Like it lets you see who you're, who you're dealing with, who the, who you are as the expert. And, um, you know, don't be afraid. Uh, like I said, I encourage people to do Facebook lives. If you guys join my group, I'm going to encourage you to come in, do a Facebook live, introduce yourself, talk about your group, what you plan on doing with it. Um, you know, and, and it's a free plug for you. You can also share your group inside my group. I, I, I recommend groups inside my group. Like it's all about growing groups. So just think of that. Um, but yeah, definitely start doing Facebook lives if you don't already. Yeah. And um, hey, Nathan. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Scott. Thanks for joining us. Um, I want to also challenge you, Corey, uh, because I've seen a lot of Facebook group growth courses out there. Not a lot. They're coming up. Yeah, I think they're, they're going to be, I think they'll explode and they'll be like, just like how Shopify courses are all over the place and drop shipping courses and all these other courses. What's going to set your course apart? Um, and guys, this is not like pitching. This is me uh, honestly curious about uh, Corey's course. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what's going to set my group apart? First of all, I'm, um, well, you're like a ClickFunnels user. So you know about like share funnels and stuff like that. So basically yeah. one of the things that I'm going to be doing is as I create the course, uh, and this is for anybody that's wanting to create the course, don't think that you have to have it all done right away. You can start and then kind of build it as you go and just add stuff to it. And that's actually one of the best ways to do it. So inside my group, I'll be giving away a handful of, uh, of the courses for free. And then I'll start with a really low price. And as I grow more content in the group, the higher the price is going to get. And I'm only going to sell so many uh, per price level kind of thing, right? So if I do $17, I might only give away 17 for $17. And then I'll jump it up to 27 and 97 or whatever, you know. Um, but ultimately what I'm going to do is inside of my group or inside of my training, I'm going to give you a lot more detailed. I'll be not so like talking real fast because obviously I'm trying to get out as much as I can right now. Um, so there'll be a lot more detailed instructions inside there, kind of more laid back, actionable steps. Um, and then ultimately I'm going to give away for anybody that buys my course, I'm going to give away my course for them to resell without like being an affiliate. So you can grab my course and just go and sell it. I'll show you how to set up the funnel. You'll get like a free funnel for it. Um, I'll show you how to swap out affiliate links and all that kind of stuff. That way you get paid if you promote the course and um, it should be a win-win for everybody. Okay. That's interesting. That's different. Um, Rob says, please put the link up and group and thanks to both of you. No problem, Rob. Um, yeah, I'll be posting after this interview, I'm going to post a link to Corey's group in the description and you guys can go and check him out because he's all about exploding Facebook groups. I know, um, for anyone trying to create any course or trying to create a movement, um, it is like, there are probably a lot of information out there, right? And it like, you pursuing your own thing, even if other people have something similar, is something so encouraged because um, even if someone has like a course on Facebook group growth out there somewhere, that doesn't mean that you're not go like you don't make your own or you don't explore your own. And this is for anyone who creates your own Facebook group and want to make a course. It's like you are still very unique to you. And you don't need to have, uh, you don't need to have like this unique or, or one of a kind idea. But Corey's um, idea of white labeling his Facebook group growth course is actually a really good idea to me. <laughs> right. A really good idea. But, yeah. And hopefully, I mean, it, sh it should work out. And then also the cool thing about it is because you're going to get a copy of the funnel itself, you can actually use that as your template for your own course. So you can just go in there take out my logo, take out my uh, copy and stuff, put your own in there, take out my videos, put in your videos. And now all of a sudden 
you have your own course without actually having to do all the work of building like the way the layout of the course works, you know? Hey, Corey, I have a suggestion. Uh -oh. um, so you know how you say you're going to have a share funnel? I think you should have share funnels and I think this will set you apart. I think your course should have a share funnel for Builderall and for Insutanto. Insutanto is actually like kind of like Wix and ClickFunnels combined, but it's yeah. free. It actually, right. you have like a forever free plan. And so people don't have to sign up, but once they do grow out of their forever free, free plan or they put a domain on their thing, then you get affiliate commissions, I think up to 70%. So right. I, to, it's like a really high affiliate commission. And at the same time, the people who grab your share funnel aren't like feeling pressured to make money or else they're going to be charged like X amount. So right. um, if your package includes like share funnels for other platforms as well as click funnels, I think you would knock it out of the park. I think you would do really well because there are people who don't use click funnels at all. Don't want to. There's some right. people who use builder all love builder all. There's some people who use Wix and all these other things, but you know, you putting your share funnel on the platforms, it's just like what you already created all the content, right? You, it's just like putting the video and text up and then that's it. But, right. um, but that's, that's just something that I thought of that. I'm like, you should have share funnels for other things. <laughs> yeah, you, absolutely. And cool. actually I'm, uh, I'm actually a, a builder all ambassador and I wasn't going to mention anything about builder all because I didn't want to go there. But, um, yeah, so I have a, Ultimately, I'm creating a membership website myself that's going to do all kinds of courses like this on the inside um, where you're going to be able to do the same thing, kind of just download the funnels and use them uh, to promote other, people, other people's products, but you're going to get the full commission for it as being a member. Uh, I'm not going to get into that because that doesn't have anything to do with growing your group, but you guys definitely want to make sure that you are positioning yourself as the expert and creating your own uh, course because that's going to start setting you apart. And ultimately, if you can write your own book on it, then, you know, about a bing, bada boom, you're, you are the expert at that point, right? So, um, but yeah, definitely. Uh, and, and it is going to be a build raw thing. And that's kind of how it's going to work is at the very last step when it talks about how to monetize your group, you got to build your funnels and all that kind of stuff. So I use build raw. If you join my build raw team, then you're going to get this absolutely free. I'm going to show you how to change out the, the original pay link. So if somebody buys the course, you're getting that full commission. And then I'm also going to show you how to change out the link for uh, the builder all, you know, so people join your team instead of mine, right? Um, because ultimately I just wanna help people make it online. And um, the only thing that I will say is inside of those funnels, I will have a link for Facebook groups. You cannot change that, it has to be my group because it's my course and it needs to be uh, associated. I don't want people to go into a, a course on, you know, Facebook group explosion and then get transferred into affiliate marketing with Bob, um, <laughs> you know? And that would be the only stipulation that I would have in there. Other than that, I care less, you know, uh, sell it. I'll probably have uh, a certain price point that you can't sell below. But other than that, that's going to be, that's going to be how it rolls. But in order to do that, guys, you've got to get group convert first because that's going to gather all these emails of everybody. And as soon as you're ready to launch your, your course, you can do it like a, you know, like it's a top secret thing because the people that give you your emails, you're going to give them access first, you know, and be like, Hey, since you gave me your email, I'm getting ready to launch my course. I'm giving away, you know, maybe 10 free memberships and see who signs up. And then after that, the next day, hey, the 10 free memberships went so fast. Today, I'm going to do uh, seven for seven dollars and see what happens, you know, and sell seven for seven and then 27 for 27. That's going to be my launch. And if you guys are a part of my group, you're going to watch it live inside my group as I launch this course. So definitely be a part of it. Yeah. And uh, if. Well, here's a tip for those of you who are already actively using Group Convert or want to try out Group Convert. The first email that you send out that says, welcome to my group, here it is, that, uh, or like click here for that freebie, that link should be a bot link. It should be a messenger bot link because, now, because people open up their bots at like 70, 80% open rate versus emails. So you're grabbing their email, sure, but then the first email that they receive from you leads them to uh, getting bought it. And to that technique, in terms of like having their first thing that they click is a bot link, you will grow your bot list so fast. So um, 
Facebook groups are very versatile because what you're doing is you're growing things on many fronts. When people funnel into your Facebook group, they're giving you their email, they're giving, they're getting botted, and you're building your Facebook group community all at once. It's like hitting three birds with one stone. And, <laughs> and at the same time, when you're growing your community, you have a product now. You have something you can offer because of the knowledge you're putting into that group. You can bundle that and make a course out of it or something digital where it doesn't take you more time to just sell an extra copy. So you're creating a product, an offer around your community. So it's actually like four things that you're doing. Um, and I highly recommend, uh, I agree with Corey, if you have knowledge in any field, make a course out of it and stick it into your group because um, it will only help grow your community. At the same time, it's a really, really great way to also have cash flow so that you could bring in experts into your group, uh, can uh, hire a uh, moderator to moderate your group and do all these things. Um, in order to grow your community. So, yep, that's what I have to say about that. <laughs> Absolutely. And then, you know, going back to like when I, when I was first talking about growing your group and going out there and just making yourself known in these other groups, again, when you're a part of another group, if you got like a super affiliate or something and they see that you're, you're adding value to their group all the time, like they're going to start opening up to you because they're going to see that you're adding value and then that you're not trying to just spam or hack or whatever. And uh, you can really establish a great relationship with them in a very short period of time. And I've done this with uh, Spencer Meacham, Liam James K, Rachel S. Lee, uh, Zeke Ahmed, um, Catlin Betridge, like all these big names. I know you interviewed a ton of them. Um, all of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All of them. And they're all like, they're, they're the super affiliates right now. Right. And, mm -hmm. I've got an open relationship with them, like where if I send them a message, they're replying to me, you know, and that might not seem like a huge deal, but you know, when they're getting hundreds or however many messages a day, like the fact that they're actually getting back to you is uh, pretty special. Um, yeah, it's definitely special. Um, like I befriended Spencer a while ago, just interviewing him. And interviews are a great way to explode your group too, you guys. Oh, yeah, um, but you form that little connection and it really separates you from the rest of the people. And he actually helped launch um, my course, Simple Tools, Big Profits with Marcus Campbell. And there were like, uh, what is it, like 10, 10 purchases in one day for a 997 course. We just went yeah, live. So it's like you know, that relationship actually helps us help more people. And uh, I highly recommend doing interviews for your group um, of the experts in your field. Yep. Yep. And then obviously the easiest way to get an interview with one of those top affiliates is to buy their program, right? And even if it's 997, it could be, you know, it's high ticket or whatever, but you buy their program and I guarantee you they're going to answer questions for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's access to them. Buy buy their stuff to get access. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, if you want to, uh, if you want to catch my attention, buy my stuff, and I'll give you attention. Now, you know, in my group, I try to give as much attention as I can anyway. Um, and if anybody wants to interview me in their group, I'm more than open to it. You know, whatever we, you know, it's all about networking. So, you know, mm. at the end of the day, just get out there, make yourself known. Don't be afraid to uh, make a splash. Uh, another thing when it comes to your groups, guys, if you make rules, you got to stick to the rules. You know, don't let something slide for somebody. Um, I've had some big name affiliates, like I said, in some of my groups and they broke the rules and I kicked them out. You know, now most people would be like, oh, well, I would never kick them out because they're a super affiliate and it looks good in my group that I got them in here. But um, if you break Rob, the rules, break the rules. Rob asks, what is the top three tips on funnels? Top three tips on funnels. Uh, it's, I mean, I, I guess I don't know what you're like, just funnels in general or like for your group or, you know, I mean, top three tips is, you know, obviously capture your email, um, play off emotion, like get people emotional because uh, people are emotional buyers and then, you know, close them. I don't, I don't really know. Um, 
I don't know what I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> uh, Rob, no, maybe not, that's not that's, that's not a question um, for Facebook group growth training. But uh, you're talking yeah. about the funnel of going into your Facebook group. Top three tips I would say is um, get some kind of software where you're collecting the emails, like Group Convert. Yep. Um, tip number two is definitely have your profile be a funnel. So when you're friending people. Um, the first picture that they see on the sidebar is enter my Facebook group or grab my freebie click here and it is entering to the group and you include your group link everywhere on your profile like if they click on the picture of your face there's a link back to your group if they click on the picture of your cover there's a link back to your group every single link every single thing that they see when they look at your profile is a link back to your group and when they go into your group um, the first email you should send them is a link to your bot it could be a very very simple bot it could be like welcome to my group bot and uh, here's your freebie that you clicked on for simple but that will grow your bot list so those are the three top tips I have because it will save you a lot of time if you follow that and it will help funnel the right people into your group as you're friending people who are engaged in other similar groups. So that's a type of Facebook group funnel. Yeah. Not general, yeah. not like general click funnels funnel or right, right. funnel. Yeah, absolutely. But you got to remember like it, the chances are they're finding their group. They're either going to be getting invited by somebody, like I said, doing like contests and stuff. So you already got that kind of um, buy-in from a referral from a friend or something, uh, or they're going to be you know they're going to be searching Facebook itself and just they come across your group, which that's the other thing. Like if you type in um, you know inside the search bar of Facebook, obviously you want to try to get your group in there you know ranked. So uh, one of the reviews that I did today was about like a beauty uh, group, which I don't know anything about. I'm not a woman, uh, so I don't really know about the beauty industry, but I do know. If I type in beautiful or beauty inside of Facebook, it's going to automatically kind of bring up the suggestions already, you know, so it might be like beautiful woman or beautiful um, mm. whatever. Yeah, Facebook does rank you according to keyword in your group title. So right. have your group title be what the keywords people are searching for. Absolutely. That's, that's what I was getting at was make sure that your, your title of your group has those keywords and then also your description. Uh, it never hurts to have them in there just don't you know put beautiful woman at, in every sentence just to put it in there you know just make it natural make sure that you know in there maybe a couple of times or a couple of different things on beautiful whatever um if you were you know beauty mm. here's, a, here's another tip you know when you close up your group make sure your group settings privacy is closed with closed they can still see the description. They can't see the posts. So they'll be curious on how to, right. on getting in, but the description is there. Don't set your group to private because they can't see anything. They can't even see your link. And don't set your group to open because everyone can get into there. Sure, you can have different groups. If you only have one group, set it to close, but you can have open, close. However, set it to close so that you entice curiosity. They'll look at the description of the group. They'll say, hey, this group is about Facebook group growth. And in this community, we have lots of free training for you. And also, we have the freebie in this group if you join. And they will be able to read that. It will give them like, oh, wow, they'll be curious about what's inside. And then they'll have a reason to join. So that's also another tip that I see um, some people who are new at creating Facebook groups make yep. the mistakes on. They will yep. have it be a private group or a public, completely public group. And yeah, so right. don't make those mistakes. Yeah, definitely. Just like you said, uh, so you want a closed group. Um, you don't want a secret group. What you, ultimately what you want to do is if you get somebody to buy your product, you can create a secret group, which nobody can find. That way if they buy your product, now you can put them in that secret group which could be the same thing. So whatever your Facebook group is called and then just call it VIP at, at the end of it. Right. And then anybody that actually purchases from you, you can put them in that group. That way you can give them more attention that they need or they deserve for buying from you. Right. Actually, um, I actually, I don't recommend that. I think your group should still be closed, but what it'll put you put in the title is 
uh, this is a paid group. So people know it's a paid group. And one of the three questions you have is, the first one will be, this is a paid group. Did you purchase yet? If not, here's the link. So that way they still read that what the group is about, what the paid community is about. And then if they decide to buy it, you now have a kind of funnel to your landing page where they can click purchase. And I've had some people purchase my course by going through that. They first go in and they're like, oh, I didn't realize it was paid. But then that's already some, you know, some mind, something in their mind to think about. And then later on, as they hear more and more about me, more and more about me, and then they go back to the group and it says, here's the link to buy. They're going to most likely take that, put into their URL and purchase the, the course. Right. So that's actually what I recommend. I don't recommend yeah. it be completely off the grid there private. There you go. I never thought of it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alicia. Oh, Alicia. Actually, Alicia is like a two comma club winner person. And I got your message the other day, but it's like, buried within all my messages. Um, I'll get back to that. Now I saw your name. I, I remember. I'll respond to you. And hey, Obad. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us. We are about to wrap up very soon. So if you have any questions about Facebook group explosion, Facebook group growth, let us know. This whole interview is about giving a lot of value back to you guys because I know some of you are struggling just to even get started with your group or struggling to have an engaged group you have or you have a huge group and no one's talking no one's doing anything um, so if you are just jumping in definitely watch the replay because uh, not only Corey has shared his tips and tricks on how to explode his Facebook groups and he's done it multiple times but I also share what has worked for me and how it works along with group convert as well so if you are already a group convert user I have really good tips that I've shared um, earlier on the interview for you to best utilize group convert um, let's see what else has anyone said Alicia says hey hey <laughs> Um, Rao says, thanks so much. Great value. Yay. And guys, smash the heart button if you agree with Rob. <laughs> um, all right. As we're winding down, any last mm, things you want to mention, Corey, or, or um, you know, anything? Let's think of any tips or tricks. Yeah. I'll do a couple more tips uh, for engaging posts. And they, you know, a lot of times they're kind of corny or whatever, but. Um, one of the things that I like to do is when you start getting several hundred people into your group, you can do a post that's just saying, hey, let's play a game. Let's see how many active members are in the group. I'm going to start with one and just count off and see how many people can get. And then that's going to get you, you know, if there's several hundred people in your group, you might get 100 comments. And it's just going to be one through whatever. Sometimes people miscount, and then you can go in there and kind of make fun of them a little bit, just kind of keep it playful. Um, you'll also see a lot of, like, top affiliates where they do, like, I'm – I'm thinking of a number one to however many people are in your group and whoever gets it gets a free giveaway. Um, you know, those are really good. En they're really good engagement posts. Uh, I know you might not think so just because you're just putting in a number or something like that. But the thing is, is you're going to get a whole lot of comments in your, in your post that's going to help boost that inside of the Facebook community saying that, Hey, they got a post inside this group that's going gangbusters and you know, we're going to start, you know, referring people to this group kind of thing. So and it can be, you know, anything like that, especially with numbers. Um, and don't be afraid. The other thing I'd say is uh, because you want to get as much engagement as possible, don't be afraid to post um, controversial questions, right? Like one of the things that I do, and you might think I'm crazy, but I'll put in there, you know, do you think the earth is round or do you think the earth is flat? And I'll always take the flat side, right? Because people are going to say that I'm crazy. But the thing is, is I'm going to get a whole bunch of people that want to sit there and kind of argue with me. And then the next day I'll come in and say, you know what? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if the earth is round or flat. Like this is just an example of how to get your group to, you know, comment and post and, you know, interact with each other, you know. So stuff like that, you know, is always a great way to get people engaged and going um, because there's going to be a lot of people in your group that just they don't engage at all. Like for whatever reason, you got, you know, like you have 2,300 people in this group and I'm guessing you're probably going to have, you know, a few hundred views maybe on this uh, on this live mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, and there'd probably be a bunch of those people that would never comment or like or whatever. So you're just trying to entice them with simple little things that they can do, you know, just like the video or whatever. Um, but ultimately, you just got to get people out of their comfort zone. 
Yeah, and um, hey, Scott actually has a question. Do you recommend letting anyone post or only admin approved posts by members? What do you recommend? I, me personally, like I said earlier, I kind of let people just do it. Um, and worst case scenario, I got to spend some time deleting comments, you know? And basically what I do, because if, if it's in my group, if it's in my group rules that it says, you know, you can't spam or promote or anything like that, then I'm going to let them post whatever they want and I'll be the judge of what I think is spamming. Um, and then I, you can, what happens is inside your group, you'll be able to sit there and, and mute the member for like seven days so that they, they can't post anymore. Or you can just completely block them, you know, and I've done that. Like I said, I've had top affiliates don't follow my rules and I'll ban them from the group. So, um, and then it'll also delete all the posts. So, you know, I don't oh, necessarily do it I, myself. I have a suggestion. You know how you say you know that there's a bunch of types of posts you can make to increase engagement? Do you have a list of that? Do you have like, I don't know, I think it would be great if we put together like a very simple five posts, five top yeah. post engaged type yeah. of posts to make so that they can model after. So maybe give that as like, some kind of freebie um, and I think that would be very helpful to your course because people sometimes they don't want to really think about what to right. post they just want the templates and the scripts and the swipe yeah. files that they get could just the over to their own thing so maybe yeah, you can give that guys if you're watching uh, Corey if you join his group he might put something like that together you <laughs> yeah I can, I can do that for sure you know and i can you know other things like i said uh you know asking people where they're from in the world is a is a big one because people again anything that you can uh question as far as the person's concerned people like talking about themselves right so where do you live as soon as they put down you know whatever london then you say oh i've never been to london what's the coolest part about london or you know always respond back to any kind of comments and always leave it with another open-ended comment like a question right so mm -hmm. What's what's your favorite place in London? And then they say, oh, so you know, such and such or whatever. And then you can say, oh, that's cool, or you know, and kind of just keep blowing it down because you're ultimately trying to get as much engagement as possible. Mm -hmm. And I know it can take a lot of time sometimes, uh, and you can't answer everybody's at some point. But you know, when people are first getting in the group, definitely ask them where they're from, and then you know, what's the funnest thing to do there? Funnest? What's the, what's one of the fun things to do wherever you're at? Hey, so Rob and Scott says, yes, yes. Okay, so you guys, you probably want the swipe files. I think you should put it together because I think that should be your freebie, Corey. Your All freebie right. should be, this is about Facebook group explosion. And if you get in, you are going to get the top, like it could be insane. It could be the top 19 posts, the most highly engaged swipe file posts that you can do for your group. And it could be, um, if you want to go a little bit further, you could have a bot sequence so that it reminds them, hey, today you're going to post this. Today you're going to post that. And that way they're going to be like, oh, shoot. Okay. And they're reminded every single day to post something that will give their groups uh, like an engaged thing. I know myself, I've seen posts out there that are crazy engaged. I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. And yeah. I take a screenshot of it. And then like, I think about it later to post something like that, but I don't have a centralized swipe file or like a centralized place that I regularly visit or something that regularly reminds me, hey, this today post this, or you know, at least once a week, some kind of reminder pop in. And I think that would be super high value and something a lot of people would want to give yeah, it. I, I can throw that together for sure. That wouldn't be a problem. Um, and then, you know, another thing is when you're inside these other groups and you see them having these really engaged uh, comments or whatever, you know, kind of steal that from them too. Uh, and then, you know, I don't know if you know this or not, but like, you can schedule your posts inside your group. So, it, you know, as soon as you get the swipe file, you can just go in there and load them all up. So they're going to release at a certain time in the future and then it's done and you can. Uh, yeah. Follow. Yeah. I would sick. I'm not sick. I would actually hire a virtual assistant to go and scroll through all the Facebook groups that you tell them to crawl through and look just for super engaged posts right. and then take, have them take a screenshot of it and then just put it into a, a word PDF thing. And so people know, okay, this is not just text that 
it, you know, may be engaging. They see the screenshot right. and they're yeah, like, they know it's oh amazing. my gosh, it actually is really highly engaged type of post. Yep. Um, but yeah, no, I, I look forward to that. If you put that together, it's <laughs> no <laughs> pressure. <laughs> no pressure. All right. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I think that would be great. I think that that's a great freebie. Um, all right, guys. Well, we're at the end of an hour right now and we are done. So if you have any lingering questions or you're watching the replay, just comment that below. Um, hit the hard button and put a comment and then Corey and I will go back and answer your questions because, you know, this is all about engagement. This is all about group growth and engagement. So we're going to engage back with you. But uh, thank you so much, Corey. What is the name of your group if people want to explode their Facebook group? It's uh, Facebook Group Explosion. Nice. <laughs> Nicely <laughs> keyworded. <laughs> right? Facebook um, Group Explosion uh, is the name of the group. And, you know, come check it out. Like I said, if you guys already have your group and you want me to go, uh, today I actually went through like three or four different uh, members' groups. And I just gave you my suggestions, you know. Um, so plain and simple, they're usually about 20 minutes. And I go through your whole group and I'll tell you what I think. Yeah. And um, you know how titles, uh, keywords in titles matter? I think you should put like for just Facebook group explosion, maybe like a colon or something that says explode, like grow your, how to yeah. grow your Facebook group to a thousand members in under 90 days. Something yeah. like that so that they'll see the title and they'll get that right away. But yeah. it's also keyword, you know, relevant yep. because it's, it says grow, the word grow and explode and all those extra keywords. Yep. Um, so I think, okay, so guys, search for Facebook group explosion. I'm also going to link it after this. And thank you so much, Corey, for um, joining us today. And, uh, and do you recommend group convert as <laughs> the software to grow your Facebook group? Yeah, of course I do. You know, uh, you know, especially if you're if you're gonna go out there and do all the stuff that I'm uh, kind of asking you to do or telling you to do as far as growing your group, guys. Like you will see the results. You will grow your group to a thousand members or more, in ninety days or less. And you don't want to manually put those emails into anything. Uh, like trust me, it sucks. Like to have a have a software that actually does what you need it to do and grab that email and put it into a form for you to where you can just upload it into an autoresponder. Forget about it. Like, totally worth the money. All right, cool. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, follow Corey, friend him on Facebook. Uh, I linked his name in the description so you can friend him. You'll probably see the link to his Facebook group, but I'm also going to link that. And I'm also going to link the PLR sites that he mentioned. I'm going to make it my affiliate link because this is an affiliate group. Yeah, I'm going to send you my affiliate link first. All right. <laughs> sure. All right, cool. Okay, bye, guys. Bye. Thanks, Corey, for being Absolutely. here today. Thank you so much for having me. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Oh, yeah. If you like that video, then you will love all the resources that I have over at kimcdang.com. That is K-I-M-C-D-A-N-G.com. There you will find all my courses, my extensions, all the offers that um, I have, as well as a lot of free resources if you are just getting started.